OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to create a line graph. If you have dates in your data, normally a line chart is the best type of chart to use. Let's start with this example. Now you can either click somewhere in the data or select all of the data. Normally just clicking in one cell suffices. Then go to Insert in the Charts group. Go up to this button, Insert Line or Area Chart. And I'll just choose this basic line graph. Now you can see it hasn't done a very good job. First of all, I would have expected the years to appear along the bottom of the chart. But it seems to think that the years are a series to be plotted on the chart. And that's because these values are numeric. Now the way to resolve this is with the chart selected, Go up to the Chart Design tab, go to Select Data. And you can see at the moment it's plotting two series, Year and Sales. Well, Sales is the only series we want to plot on the graph. The Year should be on the Category axis. So we'll delete the Year by clicking on Remove. And then we'll edit the Category axis range. So at the moment it's just 1 through to 5. If we click on Edit, we can then select these labels. Click on OK, and now I have the labels at the bottom of the chart. Now, in terms of the chart title, what you can do is link it to any title you have in your sheet. So if I click into that chart title element, go up to the formula bar, type in equals, click into this cell, press Enter. So then if I was to change this, it would automatically update the chart title. Now, if I want access titles, I would just click on this plus button, top right of the chart, and I would tick access titles. And I can link these also to the data that's in my sheet. So with the vertical access title selected, I go up to my formula bar type equals, and this would be sales and dollars. Same for this axis title, select it equals, and that would be year. If you want to get rid of things like grid lines, go back up to your chart elements button. You can untick it there. I can also get rid of the legend. And I can include things like data labels if I want them. OK, so that's that example. We'll just get rid of that. Let's look at this example. So we've got actual dates in this data. So I click somewhere in the data or select it if that doesn't work. Insert line graph. Now, one thing to notice here is that we seem to have many more dates on our horizontal axis than are in our actual data. The dates are actually evenly distributed. They're actually seven days apart here whereas that's not the case in the actual data on my spreadsheet. So it seems to have made up a kind of timeline along the bottom here. So that's a normal function of Excel line charts when you have dates in your data. If you want to change that so the dates you have in your data appear along the bottom, just double click on the horizontal axis where you can see the dates. And what you need to do under Axis Options, so you should have this selected. It probably will be by default Axis Options there. Then expand Axis Options if you need to there. And then just tick Text Dates. And you'll get the actual dates that appear in your data along the bottom of the chart. 